Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna give you guys a full settings on the best Warzone settings for PC and laptop. As a, as you guys know, I play on a laptop. I'm trying to go over these settings usually, and hope you all like the settings. And yeah, let's get into it. Maybe in some thoughts as well. Some good thoughts. Let's see the new season of Warzone, season four. Let's get into it. Starting off, uh, we have graphic settings. We got sorry. display mode. I'll put it for full, full screen, but I use full screen borderless because it's pain in the butt to tab out and tab back in. So personally, I use that. Display monitor is whatever your monitor is. This is whatever your GPU is. Shoot refresh rate. This should be 75, but I have 60. I don't know why. It's not like working for me. You got your render resolution. You could put this up, like 110, 100. I keep it on 100. It's your base of your monitor. I would not touch the dynamic resolution, frame rate target as well. Don't mess with these. This, however, you could mess up with. As you can see, you can put custom gameplay is like your in game. I have to 160. I don't really reach 160. I only reach like one my highest, like 140. Mm -hmm. And the menu is the menu. I'm at 75 frames. Out of focus is tabbed out. I just put the 60 frames so you. So your system is not running as much as you want it to. Also, you could put it to oh unlimited to get the most right. frames out of your thing. <clears throat> Brightness. We got not visible, barely visible, and easy visible. You want to set this to 60, I, 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 personally, because... Well, it's just right there. Not visible, you cannot see it. Barely visible, you can see it. Easy visible, you can see that. Scale Gamma is if you have a PC, or, I mean, a TV or monitor, use that for monitor, that for TV, and so as well. Turn this off. Yep. This uh, Nvidia had it, so oh disabled. Nvidia reflex is low latency. You could put it to boost, again. enable oh. this boost, this is, this but is nice. whatever your personal preference is as well. I might go. I might this try enable the boost. That's what I might do. Oh! Quality. This, oh! is, this is huge. It's so many inside okay. the house. I just can't see. FLV and one twenty, obviously. FLV is the best. I don't think. It affects um, FPS, but it could. Camera movement, I just put it to default 100, negative 100. Getting into the details and textures, this, this is a big thing in Warzone for quality. Streaming quality, low or normal. But just look at your VRAM usage for PCs and laptops. Personally, I use low because just get the lowest setting. Texture resolution, I put to low. I could do very low, but. It's just not really worth it. Texture filter, anisotropic, low. Particle quality, low. This is like the explosions. How long does this last? Actually, it's high. I, I like. Bullet impacts and sprays enabled. Like if you see those sprays as well. <clears throat> Test elevation. This is not really a big deal. I just disabled that. This disabled. This disabled. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Film grain one. Film exchange oh, one. Film grain, however, is zero. And VDS, you could do this messing around with the ultimate performance yeah, record, or record. performance, balance, quality. Just a better way of performance or quality or even balanced. Anti aliasing off. You would not want to use this in Warzone. Depth of field enabled. World motion blur. You could put it on. It's whatever your preference, but. Personally, it's just better to keep it off. Weapon most of as well, same thing. Shadow map resolution low. Has cash spot spots shadows uh, enabled. God, I cannot talk right now. Cash sun shadows enabled. Particle lighting low. Direct X ray tracing disabled. 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 These are the three things you don't want not want to touch. And apply that. I mean, more of this. I'll just go ahead through my settings actually. It's fine. You got Trinopia for the best color, both as well. This is not really much. You need to have this at square. Circle is just, it's just ugly. Oh, this is pretty self explanatory as well. Uh, go into audio. Audio mix. You can play with this. The best ones are boost high or boost low. I use boost low a lot, but I'm just going to try out boost high for a little bit. My master volume is at 80. Oh, wow. Music volume, you would not want to hear this. All you hear is music. Dialogue, and you can put a low. Effects, 100. Cinematics, 20. Juggernaut music. This is every time you hear Juggernaut, you hear the music. I just keep it off. Hit mark sound effects, whatever you would like. 
nothing too bad in Chevy. Mono audio you can put disabled. Mono amount, when you know, it goes with that anyways. Speaker headphones, whatever your default thing is. Voice chat, it's funny to death calm, so I would put it on. This is self-explanatory, your devices for your audio. Push to talk or, you know, whatever. Voice shot volume puts 200 volume, volume. Oh, I should never knew that, what the hell. Yeah, I might tweak with that a little bit, hold on. Okay. Voice chat effect, don't know what that does. Warfare, just leave these three alone, probably default anyways. Controller settings, these are my settings. We got default, default, disabled, 0 0.5, 0 .0 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 99, these are, these two are the default. And I play on 8, 8 with 70 ADS multiplier, dynamic, aim response curve time, standard. This, you should have it off, it doesn't really do anything. This ADS plus melee is off. I mean, ADS plus melee. Weapon mount exit, you can just exit with your mounting. ADS, these are all decent, usually. Use, this is actually pretty big. You would not want to hold. Actually, these <sighs> actually have to hold. Textual tap, enabled, apply all. This is actually big. This helps me a lot when I'm playing Warzone. Helps pretty good. Slide behavior, tap, so you don't have to hold when you think. Auto move forward, disabled, tack sprint, double tap, and then automatic sprint. This, I don't really care, I just put it to auto tack sprint because it's the best one, but I don't really, I hold down my stick when I'm trying to do that. Vehicle camera, recenter, enabled, party, but you could put this enabled, but it messes me up a lot, so I can't really do anything about that. Those are my settings, and let me just see the best locks. This season and season 4, a lot of stuff got nerfed and buffed. Cooper got buffed. Mac 10 got buffed. These are my. This is my um, Cooper loadout. It's pretty nice, pretty good, pretty good. Everything's pretty good. Mac 10 loadout. I, this is more for movement. It, it's really fast when I use it. You could swap this out for 43 on Max for even more movement, but in quads and trails, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to reload every time. Well gun, not really. MP40, this is a really good gun. I just uploaded a video on it if you guys want to check that out on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. This is a really good, fun SMG to use to mess around with. Awesome. And it's pretty it's pretty good. I have to say it myself. We got Carnage 8 loadout. This, however, I've not been using a lot. Because I've been using the NZ and the Blixen, the two most broken guns in Warzone. We got mono, 25.1, tack laser, sniper scope, and slide of hand. You could put another ADS thing, but personally, I just have enough, so I just use slide of hand for the slow reload. NZ41, this is my loadout. The third barrel, obviously. I still need some more loadouts, but... I still need some more stuff on this, but... This can do. I'll save the mod. up. Continue. Yep, this is my NZ load. It's, it's not bad. NZ's definitely cracked though. Stand build. Not too much. I think Stan got buffed this season, so it's gonna be really good for some pro to use. Candy corn. Got a new new SMG Marco. Marco five. This thing's actually nuts. If you have the right build for it, don't don't look at my build. I just I'm trying to level it up. <laughs> I'm trying to level it up, so don't look at mine. Got OTS. OTS is such a fun gun to use. I love it so much. This thing just when you you just zoom with it, it's just so fun. I can watch this gun all day. It is very fun to use. I love it. Going back, we got okay. This gun. This gun. What do you think? This gun is got nerfed this season down Z41 and this thing is still good I don't currently have the right like groove grip should be replaced with tape grip to go even faster with it but I used this for the camo glitch that was out uh, last season but they took it out last season so yeah we got the type 100 this is a good gun as well very fun to mess around with this, and it's good up close a lot. You got a quick scope, car 98. No muzzle, 25.1, tack laser, sniper scope, stippled grip tape, and slide of hand. You could put 
uh, sport tack comb, F tack sport comb, but I don't know the difference of it. It's pretty good, anyways. And temp loadout, nothing much really. So much, a lot of stuff got nerfed this season. NZ41 got nerfed. They buffed the FFAR, MAC 10, Sten, and the more, more and more guns. My settings are self explanatory, and hey. If you enjoy this, if you enjoy the video, make sure to follow and make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out my other videos because they're actually lit. So, yeah, these are the best Warzone settings on PC and load up and uh, laptop. Like me, I play a laptop, gaming laptop. I'll put my laptop specs in the description and hope you all enjoyed. And hey, try the settings for yourself and loadouts, and hope you all enjoyed the video. Peace out.